Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you the things I wish I had known before we became parents. I wish I would have known these things before. Obviously it wouldn't have changed our decision to become parents, but I think it would have been beneficial to know these things and would have really helped. Also, if you hear that baby crying in the background, that's my baby. He is not happy with Jeff right now. He's just, he's not having it. So the first thing I wish I would have known is just the level and the amount of empathy I would have for other parents and for other mothers. Oh, and they always say like, after you have your kid, like you have so much more respect and admiration for all other parents and for your your own parents. And, and that's so true, but I guess I just didn't realize the level at which, or like the level to which that would be true. It's just so crazy. Like it, it really is this like otherworldly amount of empathy you then have for other people who have kids and it's it's like you've both been through something that only you can understand I think that that's something really exciting to know beforehand too like if you don't currently have kids and you're pregnant or expecting or want to have children just know that like the amount of empathy that you'll have for other people will be so great it'll be like another deeper level of understanding and that's something to like really really look forward to the next thing i wish i would have known is that we will you will figure out the sleep deprivation situation so a lot of people will say to you like before you become a parent that you'll be so tired like i heard that all the time like you're gonna be so tired like the level of exhaustion you'll feel will be like nothing else and that is so true that is so true i'm here to tell you that like i have a child who does not sleep through the night gets up at least like four to five times and like all of those things, yes. However, you do figure out the sleep. Like you somehow adjust to that sleep deprivation. It seems impossible. And especially as someone who like I needed eight to 10 hours of sleep to function as a human. Like that was something like I always said that like, I need my sleep. I would figure out my schedule and figure out ways to always get like eight to 10 hours of sleep. And if I got anything less than that, I always like felt terrible. And so it was really astonishing to me and has been quite astonishing that in these past few weeks, my body has somehow figured out how to function quite well on such little sleep. And so I wish I would have known that too. So like that way it wasn't just like fear, fear, fear of like not sleeping ever again. That also there was there was a bit of hope or a glimmer of hope that, you know, not just that your baby's going to grow up one day and like become a teenager and then never want to wake up, but that during the, that really hard period of like training your baby how to sleep or teaching your baby how to sleep, that you yourself would somehow function and make it work. And listen, coffee really, really helps. I also wish I would have known before we became parents that no matter how much me and Jeff try to like talk about parenting styles and talk about different situations which I think is really important we would inevitably parent differently and in inevitably approach situations differently so Jeff and I my husband and I like talked a lot about different situations before Hugo was here and I think that that's important with your partner to kind of sit down before your baby comes and like discuss like how you want to parent and like you know discipline and praise and all that stuff that that is really important but just know that inevitably situations will arise where you'll you'll approach a situation differently or your partner will approach it in a way that is just different and it is different to how and not wrong or right or whatever but is is different to how you would approach a situation even if the end goal is the same so this is a fun one or an interesting one um i wish i would have known that parenting was going to test my character flaws more than anything has ever tested with them before my biggest character flaw is patience i have a really hard time maintaining patience and exhibiting patience and I found that that is a daily struggle and when Hugo is crying 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 and he's three months old so obviously he can't like he can't communicate what's wrong he can't express himself other than crying I just find my patience runs really thin when Hugo is crying for like hours and that's been something that I've really had to work on and work through and nothing up to this point has challenged my character flaws more than having a baby and so just be aware of you know people always say like having a baby is really hard having a kid is really hard but just understanding or like knowing at least that like the depth to which this experience will challenge those flaws is unlike anything else but obviously you'll come out the other side better for it and the last 
last thing I wish I would have known becoming, before becoming a parent is that dirty diapers aren't actually that bad. I feel like that's always like something that people will tease you about is, you know, are you ready to change dirty diapers all day every day? But it's really not that bad. And even the dirty diapers aren't that bad. Dirty diapers come from your baby and you love your baby so, so much. And so even the dirty diapers, I don't know, I find I love. So it's definitely not not that bad and really the least of my worries during the day. And so guys, those are all the things I wish I would have known before becoming a parent. If you have anything to contribute or to add, definitely leave it down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notification bell, that way you get notified every time I upload a new video. Give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you all really soon. Bye guys.